talking to Dame about playing the Blazers. He's like, well, it's not the same as going to Portland and playing there. Mm -hmm. I'm curious for you, what was it like to play here tonight? Right. It was cool. It was cool to be back. It felt comfortable walking in. I just walked in a different way, um, seeing familiar faces, uh, saying hello to, to people that um, I'd seen for the last three years. So it was it was it was cool to see everybody. What was it like hearing the cheers from the fans and seeing that? Yeah, it was awesome. You know, um, my stint here, I had a great time and and uh, it was really fun and had some great memories and showed some of those memories on the jumbotron. So it was cool to kind of see that. And then the fans here have always been great. Uh, they've always been um, supportive of me and my family uh, and the team here. So uh, it's definitely a fun place to play. Did you get a chance to take it? Did you get a little bit, a little bit of it. Um, we was getting an ass kicked, so I was kind of locked into the game trying to figure that out. But um, I saw some of it. And um, again, I, I just appreciate what the Bucks have done for me and my family, um, everything that we've been through, um, the city of Milwaukee, uh, what, what it means to me and my family. So it was um, it was cool to come back. It was cool to have a video, and uh, but I'm glad it's over. By chance, did it feel different than you expected it to feel? It was just like it was just kind of like a reunion sort of sense. Yeah, it was like a reunion. You know, it was a uh, like I said, it was good to see people that that um, again I had seen for a long time walking through these doors and uh, people that I care for and people that care for me. So um, it's always a good time to, it's always a good thing to come in and, and walk into that and have that, that embrace from fans and uh, people that work here from the team. So it was, uh, it was cool. You said these losses happen you know, during the year. You know, in your experience, what's the key to putting you know, a loss like this behind you quickly? The next game. The next game coming out, um, locking in and taking care of business. Uh, again, I've been on this end of it before. Um, but I think the type of team that we have, the resiliency that we have, um, how we play and we feel like we play the right way, uh, we're going to come out and fight. And again, it wasn't a lack of us not hustling or playing hard. Um, we know that when when we step onto the court, we're going to give it all. So, <clears throat> not worried. Drew, is there anything, tonight was fatigue. I mean, let's be honest, three, three and four nights all the time. Is there anything the league can do that they haven't already done to prevent <laughs> nights like this where you guys are just coming out and like saying, damn, we, we just don't have it. Like, yeah, probably. What do you, what do you Pro think? <laughs> Pro <laughs> Pro Pro probably. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. I don't really want to speak on that because I don't do scheduling and all that, but uh, there's probably a couple of things. Uh, I'm curious, just would you, physicality from the Bucks defensively tonight, what did you see from them in that regard? Uh, that they're physical. You know, um, they do a good job of protecting the paint, um, you know, clogging up the paint. So you try to get in there and get fouled. You always have Brooke and Giannis down there uh, protecting the paint. And then um, great guard play, Malik, um, Dame. They looked like they were locked in. Chris, <clears throat> it seemed like they were uh, uh, definitely sliding the puppies tonight. So.